What is going on you guys? Very happy and excited to be back today. Got something I wanted to share with you. Got a little surprise in the mail. Did not expect to be receiving this so soon. Gotta love the Ice Giant. Somehow they do it guys. They, their shipping is extremely good considering it's coming from across the seas. But let's take a look at what we have today. The only thing that stays consistent is the grind. What is going on guys? Very happy and excited to be back today. Let me be honest with you, this is about the fifth take of this video that I've tried to do. So I'm a little bit annoyed <laughs> at this point in time. Doesn't mean that I'm not excited to be here though. Uh, had some problems with the camera, unfortunately. So the unboxing of this item, it's already been unboxed, but I still want to share it with you, something I'm very excited about. Today we have on the channel a beautiful watch from the Ice Giant. So I wanted to discuss with you some of the things I love about this watch and also some of the things I don't necessarily love. We're gonna be doing a comprehensive review as always to give you guys the best we can to let you know whether or not this is something that you're gonna to wanna to buy. I just received this watch in the mail today. I could not wait to open it. So that's what I did. I opened this thing up, put it on camera, recorded like five different times. And the camera started messing around with me, so we didn't get any of that footage. Want to talk to you about some of the wonderful qualities of the watch. Unfortunately, it did come in all of the wrapping that Ice Giant said they were going to get rid of, which I'm sure eventually they will, hopefully, because let me tell you, it's 2023 almost. We got to have better ways to wrap watches. They did say they were going to change that, so let's hope we see that in the future. Now, what do I love about this watch other than the fact that it shines brighter than the stars uh, with all this moissanite? This is a steel casing, steel band, beautiful moissanite face, and I love the soft edges on this watch. You see this band, this bracelet? Really beautiful. You can rub your fingers across this thing all day. No hard edges at all. And because of the type of band that it is, it is very, very comfortable. You see how easily it moves? Look at this. These are some of the things that I've found so far just since opening the box, not even having sized it yet. And I can't wait to size this thing and get it around my wrist. Really, really nice. Um, check out the sides. This is not a skeleton back. I'm not sure if Ice Giant has any skeleton backs, but it is not a skeleton back, but the back is finished very nicely. It has a brushed finish along with a little bit of a polished edge, which is nice. You know, that brushing and the polishing, it offsets each other pretty nicely. So really liking this so far. I, I'm very impressed with the bracelet. Now, some companies that you purchase from, you know, you purchase a watch, you purchase this, you purchase that. A lot of things that have moving parts, sometimes you'll, you'll see evidence of it having been machined. What might some of that evidence be? Maybe some hard edges, maybe some edges that aren't polished correctly, maybe some oil or grease inside of the band by where the components close, by, by where the, uh, the wheel is up here. And I see none of that at all. And I'm not surprised because the quality of Ice Giant has, with everything that I personally have received, has always been top-notch quality. So I'm very impressed with this, just like I am with most of their stuff, with, with practically all of their stuff. I haven't seen a bad piece yet, and I'm not just saying that. Now, again, I just want to point out, look how nicely the, the bracelet moves. Really moves nicely. This is a beautiful style of bracelet. Because of all the links that it has within the bracelet, that's what causes it to be so comfortable. Now, I haven't even had a chance yet to size this to my wrist. That's okay, I will get to it eventually. But in the meantime, I'll throw it around and give you guys a look. Check that out. Not 
bad at all. I'll have a little B-roll in here, of course, to show you guys an up-close personal view. But this is very, very nice. Beautiful. The moissanite shines like crazy. The steel is shining like crazy. It's polished very, very nicely. Nice, smooth, and soft feel. No hard edges. Very happy to see that. Has a really nice date window with a magnifier on it. Beautiful watch face. And check out the bracelet. I really love this bracelet lock. Check that this out. Ice Giant, it's upside down, but Ice Giant is engraved on the lock. And you actually have to, it's a two-part, it's a two-step process. You have to unlock it and then push some buttons in order to open up that butterfly clasp. I love this method. Very, very nice. It get, It's an extra step, but it's also an extra security feature so that you're not going to go worrying about your watch opening up. Check that out. Look at that beautiful polished edge. Unlock it. Flip it up and press the two buttons on the side and then that really nicely matte finished butterfly clasp opens up. Really, really beautiful, gorgeous, and I love the feel of this bracelet. I can't say that enough. The bracelet actually, in my opinion, makes the watch. Now, I'm sure all their bracelets don't have this type of a band on it, but I can say that I love this band. It is warm, beautiful, inviting, comfortable, all that stuff. Clean, no grease on the band, no grease on the lock, no grease by the, uh, by the wheel. There is no evidence of this watch having been machined. And that is one of the things I love. It's the small details that really matter. Those small details, they, they give you a good idea on the quality of the piece that you're buying and all that stuff. Now, the one thing I don't necessarily like, take a look at the Ice Giant logo. You see that black Ice Giant logo? It's hanging out on the underside of the glass. Now, I am completely being petty here. There is no reason for this to bother me. No reason for this to bother you either, but I have to point it out. I would personally recommend that the Ice Giant put their logo not on the underside of the glass, but on the face of the watch. It's kind of like just hanging out up there, floating on top of the glass, and I just don't necessarily love that. Is it really a problem? No, not at all, but it for some reason bothers me. Let me know what you guys think about that. In either case, this really is a nice piece. I can't wait to size it to my wrist and wear this thing around because I know I'm going to be getting looks. I know I'm going to have a real comfortable piece around my wrist because of this bracelet. It is beautiful. It's an automatic Japanese movement, water resistant, sapphire glass. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I can't wait to check it out. Looking forward to doing some more reviews on it in the future. And I want to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. If you feel like purchasing anything from uh, Ice Giant, check out the link that I have in the description. I think it's got like, I don't know, 20% off for you guys or something like that, if that's something you want. If not, it's all good. Believe me, guys, I would not be giving a review on this product unless I actually liked it. Trust me, that's not going to be happening on this channel. No need for that. But uh, if you do want to support the channel and you do plan on buying something from them, check out that link in the description. You will be supporting me and this channel so I can continue to do what we're doing here. Anyway, guys, hope this video helped. Be safe, and I'll catch you all at the next one.